All right, we are in my property line hedgerow food forest, and we're going to talk about these Jerusalem artichokes here. Up here are my Jerusalem artichokes. I'll get a little closer. These are Jerusalem artichokes, and these are Jerusalem artichokes, and I've got several of them up here. We had a hard frost last night. It got about 20 degrees out here in western Kentucky last night. It stayed in the high tunnel. Uh, it got to 33 degrees. Let me change this camera so I'm not squinting at you Clint Eastwood style. I got a little shadow on my face, but that's okay. It's, uh, the sun's not right in my eyes. It's a nice sunny day today. It's supposed to be in like the 50 degrees, and it's not really supposed to get too much below freezing for the next week week or so but here we are with these Jerusalem artichokes and I like these Jerusalem artichokes here they are great screen in our hedgerow food forest uh, they are great for the soil they're great food producers so they're edible uh, but the only problem with them is after I planted these Jerusalem artichokes I planted some mulberries and some nanny berries and some wild plums uh, and uh, they're right up here in the way so I made it as part of my hedgerow up here but uh, I need to move some of these now once you put Jerusalem artichokes in a location uh, you're kind of stuck with them there so uh, I'm gonna move as many of these I as I can and I'll probably have some come back up this uh, next spring I'm also probably gonna sometime this winter come over here and bring a lot of mulch and mulch around some of these trees and mow down to the ground so I can uh, give these trees a little bit more room to grow and get bigger I'm gonna dig them up and show you I've had these for a while here but I've not dug up to, dug them up to show you because I didn't want to mess them up or anything it's time to move them so I've got some of my best tools we got a bucket plastic bucket and we got a shovel this is the world's best shovel all steel construction made by Fiskers or Gerber or something like that really like this shovel but I'm gonna dig up some of these around the um, around these plants that are over here there's some of these trees that are completely surrounded by them so I need to be really careful with those uh, but over the winter I'm gonna try to move a lot of these I kind of want to show you a little bit of them today so you can kind of see what they look like and then we'll move some and plant some somewhere else maybe save some for Papa he's been saying he's wanted to try some the one reason you wait until after you have a frost is because if you if the ground freezes if it gets freezing outside then there's not as much inulin if I understand correctly comment down below if I'm wrong uh, there's not as much inulin in them so they don't make you uh, quite as gassy uh, some people call them fartichokes and they get a little sweeter and better tasting after they've gone through that frost so uh, you can harvest them before uh, but it's not best to harvest them before so I don't know how well you can tell but right here is behind this so you can't see it very well from the camera this is a wild plum and then on the other side is a red bud here is and you can't see it it's out of the frame uh, this is a mulberry and there should be another mulberry over there yeah just right over there next to this other one it's got a green tag on it you see it Oh, it's right out of the frame too. But uh, this one is in a safe location. I'm not gonna mess up any trees with it. And like I said, I've got a bunch of them through here, but I'm gonna dig up this one and show you what it looks like and plant them somewhere else. Okay, so if I'm honest, I didn't get quite as many as I thought I would. I've only had these here, it'll be uh, two years early in 2021. This is uh, late 2020 right now. I started in this location right here. I put one of these and now I've got a bunch. I don't know, there's probably 20 of them in here. Here's one of the biggest ones. What would have happened if I would have left them here is they would have kept on, you know, flourishing and propagating, you know, kept on expanding and making more of them. And it would have been uh, working the soil, tilling it up in some ways and leaving the scraps there, you know, making avenues for the roots and stuff. I don't want them here because I planted other things here, but I'm going to plant these somewhere else. I've just kind of left it alone, done nothing with it, but I've helped them along a little bit and I'm going to keep on doing that. I'm almost certain that there's going to be more to come back right here this next year. And the more I dug, uh, the more little ones like this, here's a tiny little one do you see it I kept on finding them like that and I even found some of these big ones like this as well the more I you know dug around in it so uh, I'm gonna take these and we'll go over here and show you all of these have a few eyes on them they've got a few bumps on them you can take these Jerusalem artichokes and cut them in half like you would a potato uh, and then let them scab over a little bit then plant them but I'm just gonna take what I have here and I'm gonna put them in the ground alongside these gummy berries here's one of my gummy berries right here do you see it 
and I'm pointing the right spot. And I'm gonna plant them up here and it will create a little bit more of a screen right here on the north side of my gummy berries. So uh, these Rusum artichokes will keep growing and the gummy berries will keep growing as well. All I'm doing is just pulling this soil back. Uh, this is uh, mainly composted wood chips. Uh, there's a little bit of soil in here as well, but mainly composted wood chips. They're, you know, they're really good and rich. Do you see them? Uh, I'm just pulling them back and then covering this up. And then they'll be there and hopefully what will happen, and this is what happened whenever I planted these with these others over here, I just put them in the ground around February or so. These will sit here all winter long and then in the spring they'll come up. Just pulling the soil back a little bit, dropping it in and covering it up easy. Now this propagates them, this makes more of them. Uh, this is a really great way to, you know, uh, make a screen. You can eat these, you can uh, boil them, put some butter in them, sa saute them, you can roast them, uh, but a really great survival crop. You really have to do nothing at all for it, and the longer you leave it in a place, the more it's going to expand and the more it's going to grow and the better it's going to do. Uh, they'll be here and they'll probably grow back where I dug them up as well. Now, if you like things like this, I know it's really simple, all about Jerusalem artichokes. Uh, this is me finally harvesting them and then I'm planting them somewhere else. I've got so many more up here I'll probably do a little bit more after I shut the camera off and give some to Papa let him cook some. But if you like things like this uh, we do a new video every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. It really does help us if you like our video hit that thumbs up and subscribe and hit that notification bell and select all so you never miss a notification. Thanks for coming.